Hello everybody, it is A-Level Results Day today, so I am going to do a bit of an update video. It is currently 9.43 as I'm doing this, and what I just wanted to do was look through what is happening in the news, what insights we can draw, um, what this system has done for you guys, whether it's a disaster, whether it's working okay. Um, I'm going to be looking throughout the day. Um, and kind of working it out myself. So I just basically wanted to go through this really good Guardian blog um, Which seems to have its finger on the pulse and just give my analysis So I'm literally in this video gonna, you know, as it's coming out um, Just give, yeah, read it and, and give some analysis to you guys in the hope that there's some kind of insight or information we can get from from this crazy situation So yeah, I'm gonna try and release this video pretty much as soon as I've made it. So hopefully it's up to date while you see it, but um, yeah, this is gonna be between roughly 9.45 and 10 o'clock in the morning as I'm getting this information, so here we go. If you wanna stay updated with more updates about what's happening with the system and the education system and dealing with your futures, getting into uni or whatever, please do hit that subscribe button. All right, so first post we're seeing is some 40% of the teacher assessments submitted to Ofqual, the exam regulators, have been downgraded by its algorithm. Okay, so we kind of knew that that was gonna happen already. There was a thing going around that I've done a previous video on that that downgrade was going to be 33%, which isn't the case. People aren't gonna be across the board downgraded by 33%, but we are hearing that 40% of students um, are being downgraded. We don't know whether that's by 1%, 2% or, you know, whatever. We're also seeing that school leaders yesterday received their first look at those results with one saying there was anger, dismay and disbelief among heads. Okay, and we're gonna get our national figures by 9.30. The next post is, despite fears of downgrading more students have been accepted onto UK degree courses this year, UCAS figures shows. Okay, interesting. Um, in total, over 300,000 people from the UK have been placed confirmed had have had places confirmed up to 2.9% more than last year. Interesting. Yep, next up, this is also not a surprise. Disturbingly, Gavin Williamson has just admitted on LBC Radio that the standardization process tends to disadvantage high achieving pupils in low performing schools. This is absolutely what we knew already. Um, and apparently schools in that situation are being encouraged to appeal those kind of grades. So let's see what that will look like. The appeals process, to be honest, seems pretty slapdash, uh, considering it got changed on Tuesday, but hopefully there can be some kind of um, hope for those kind of students. If you are one of those students, please do comment below um, and let me know how that's going. And if, if you have any comments at all, if you're any kind of student, please do comment below. I would love to know what your thoughts and feelings are on this stuff. Gavin Williamson has said they will not make the same U-turn as Scotland. Um, as I'm sure you would have heard in the news, Scotland have had a disaster in terms of their grading system and they basically did do a complete U-turn and said, look, these, these, these grades have clearly um, been an absolute disaster, so we're gonna just raise it for everybody um, and you know, please stop harassing us about it because uh, it was it was such a it was such a terrible disaster, and clearly the um, England are trying to avoid this um, as much as possible with their whole mox thing. Um, we shall we shall see. Okay, the Education Secretary Gavin Williamson has asked why England's exam regulators off call was not in a position to tell students on results day whether they would have the opportunity to appeal their grades after it announced it was cancelled, after it announced it has cancelled its press conference on Thursday. Does this mean that you can't appeal on the day? The reason Ofqual hadn't got it ready for today is because it's obviously a decision that, obviously a decision that was made sort of later on in the process and that they are working to make sure Okay, so I assume, I, I actually thought that you would be able to appeal today. Perhaps you cannot. Um, you're probably more in the know than me on this one. Um, but yeah, they probably should have had that appeals process sorted. Okay, this is interesting. So Williamson told BBC Radio 4's Today programme, universities are looking at being as flexible as possible. 
um, there's going to be more youngsters in a position where their grades are going to meet the usual exam expectations of those universities. On autumn exams, he explains, we have been working with the university sector and have been, this is really interesting, and we have had early discussions about making sure there's a system of clearing that can be run for youngsters to be able to start their university a little bit later than they would have ideally been wanting to in September and October. Okay, so this, this is essentially to me suggesting that there is going to be some kind of clearing process if you take your autumn exams, if you don't get your grades today and you take your autumn exams and you get the grades to get into university, there is going to be a process for you to then join courses. We don't have any information about what that looks like yet, um, but that is the first I've heard of it. That is the first I've heard of any kind of, um, if you do autumn exams, you still have a chance to do what you want immediately. So. Great stuff, let's, uh, let's put a pin in that one and we will talk about that as it becomes more, more, uh, more real. All right, 52 minutes ago, UCAS figures show that over 300,000 applicants from UK have been accepted as their first choice, we've just said that. The number of UK 18 year olds taking up places has risen 30%. This comes despite a 1.5 drop in the population of this age group in the UK. So I assume what that's saying is that lots of you are taking the places if you've been accepted it because you know it makes sense. You're, you're seeing, <laughs> you know you've got a place right now so you're taking it, you're realising that this is, you know, this is a brilliant that you've got the place so you're taking it, so great. All right, writing in The Telegraph, Williamson has said that inflating the grades of the COVID generation risks devaluing their exam results and harming their future career prospects. Um, yesterday, Nick Gibb, the school's minister, said 40% of grades have been lowered from teachers' recommendations, far more than Scotland, which was a 24% downgrade. Now, um, firstly, I... I devaluing it, um, there is a risk of that, but at the same time, there's also a risk if they're too low, just, you know, being unfair to you guys compared to other years. So um, it's kind of catch 22 there. We need to find a happy medium. In terms of that second comment, um, yesterday, in terms of the 40% of grades being lowered compared to 24% downgraded in Scotland, now, it really, to me, depends on, we're still waiting on how much it's been downgraded. And so far, it may have suggested that, although more has been downgraded across the board, it may not have been downgraded by as much. Don't know this exactly yet, um, but yeah, we'll put a pin in that one. An analysis in the Times said that a triple lock on A-level results may sound sturdy, but it has only added to the chaos. I couldn't agree more, to be honest. The mocks thing is bizarre. The mocks, the fact that you can use your mocks results, uh, especially is just adding to the chaos. And by the way, it's, uh, I haven't done a video on this, but there are three or four ways that you can appeal. Firstly, is if your mock is higher than what you get um, for your school assessed grade. Secondly, um, it is if you feel there's been some kind of discrimination in the process, very difficult to prove, but that is a criteria. Um, and thirdly, if you think there's been an error in the administrative process of giving your grade, for instance, getting confused with another student, um, or literally someone typing in your grade wrong. Um, those are the criteria of being able to appeal. Your school can also appeal. Um, if they feel like their grades last year were, were for some reason, uh, lower than they should have been, not representative of their general performance, e.g. if they were flooded. Um, but there are, yeah, the appeals process seems pretty, pretty crazy and pretty uh, not thought through so far. Okay, let's have a look at this. Uh, the Times is claiming that school leavers have been given a new hope after A-level chaos with a report that Vice-Chancellor has pledged to soften grade requirements for degree courses. We've said this before, we said this was very likely to happen, um, as quite rightly it should do. More than 100,000 pupils who will have their A-levels downgraded by regulators have been thrown a lifeline by universities that are ready to rip up their admin 
admissions rules for this year. Universities have reassured ministers that they will soften their grades. Da, 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 da. Helen Thorne of UCAS said, universities are taking the extreme situation into account. Okay, well, that's good to hear it echoed again, that universities are going to be more lenient. Okay, so there's one on a few stats here. Thousands of people's results have been downgraded after this year's summer exams have been cancelled. The proportion of A-level entries awarded an A grade or higher has risen to an all-time high, okay, with 27.9% securing the top grades this year. So there are more people who got given an A grade or higher, okay? Um, but exam boards downplayed nearly two in five pupils, okay, which amounts to around 20, which amounts to around 280,000 entries being adjusted down. Okay, so a bit of a mixed bag. Teachers were to, yeah, we know the teachers were told to submit grades. In England, a total of 35.6% of the grades were adjusted down by one grade. Interesting. We know how much now. It's by one grade. So it's not by that third that we were talking about. It's by one grade. 3.3% uh, were brought down by two grades and 02 came down by three grades. That's the first we've heard from how much that they've been downgraded. But overall, the proportion of entries in England, Wales and Northern Ireland awarded the top A-star grade has surged to 9%, the highest proportion since the top grade was introduced. Okay, so, so far this isn't looking horrific to me. I mean, it's, it's looking like, it's looking relatively optimistic. Now, I know this, this, these are very top level stats and it's not going to be taking into account a lot of things like um, you know, if you're being disadvantaged because you're in a poor area um, or, you know, there's, there's other things going on. But as a broad kind of stroke, um, these aren't looking horrifying, but these are just initial thoughts. OK, we've heard from Jeff Barton, who's the General Secretary of the Association of Schools. Um, and he said, while there has been an overall increase in top grades, we are very concerned that this disguises a great deal of volatil volatility among the results at school and student level. I, I think that's totally true. I, I think um, these top level results uh, might be used as hailing uh, a brilliant, brilliant kind of system that's gone right, but but there will be lots of you know micro caveats within it and lots of you know inequality in it so let's let's um let's keep reading okay the NUS the National Union of Students has launched a petition demanding that all A level pupils receive their teacher assessed grades interesting okay so as most of you probably know it's your teachers that I believe in March or April uh, submitted their teacher predicted grades into Ofqual, and um, these got these are the ones that have been marked down. Um, so, I mean, to be honest, they should be used instead of the mocks. To be, uh, I think, uh, as an appeals process, if your teacher gave you a bigger grade, perhaps. Um, we shall see. Figures just released show that this year's A-level results could have one of the highest ever proportions of top A stars. We've just seen that. Okay, so we've got a BBC report saying head teachers are warning volatility in this year's A-level results and that some lowered grades seem to be unfair and unfathomable. Not surprised. Again, please do comment if you are one of those students. I would love to know um, from you guys. I just want to hear from you guys direct from the horse's mouth. How is this affecting you? Um, what's going on because of course these are you know these are journalists telling me what's going on but I want to hear it from you okay so those are the main updates between 9 45 and 10 a.m. Uh, if this video has been useful for you I can very much do uh, plenty more of them um, is I think there were some really good insights uh, for me firstly one of the main insights which was an afterthought on one of the uh, things that Gallup, Gavin Williamson said is that there is going to be some kind of clearing process um, to get you directly into a university directly after your autumn exam. What that looks like, we don't know exactly, but very good news on that front. Um, as a general thing as well, it seems like, yes, there are more students getting 
a higher percentage of A stars and A's. There's also many people who've been downgraded and many nuances that are gonna come out of this um, once the data is crunched a little bit more. So um, whatever, I wish you all the best. Um, I really, really hope this results uh, day has gone well for you. Um, if it hasn't, keep your head up um, and keep up to date with what's happening because of course there are lots of things um, changing all the time so there could be something that could be done for you. Um, in fact, I know there will be. Um, so yeah, stay up to date. If you wanna stay up to date with more stuff that I'm doing, please do subscribe to the channel. Um, and again, yeah, comment below, comment below. I would love to hear from you guys directly what is happening in your life, how is this affecting you? Okay, until next time, see you later.